Uh, so we've got the legend and the old workhorse the simplex is now going to get passed over uh, to my son. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you use that now every time you come out. Yeah. Uh, that, that small one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was like that one, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, so we're going to have, you're going to be running in park one. Yeah. Uh, nip over to field for depth and all that lot. Yeah. I'll, I'll put adjustments. So part one, I audio two, and on a legend, I'm gonna have field uh, and M1, and we'll run like that. If we change anything, recovery on this is just on five. Uh, you're on park, so it's a bit faster recovery, but you're losing a bit of depth. Yeah. But you can nip over to field. Yeah. It'd be better if you can learn the tones in the uh, park, you see. Yeah. So. Hopefully, this is quite active this land here, so we'll get some uh, get some good stuff up hopefully. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, yeah, first day. First day with a simplex. Uh, Let's see what you can do. Alright. Actually, you've got a signal there, haven't you? What you see? Let me stand back. It, yeah. From this side, it's like 20s to 25s. 20s? And go, then, the other, go the other way, go that way, yeah. And then this. Up, didn't we? Yeah. Ah. That is a huge bullet. Yeah, uh, bullet casing, I think. Yeah, open it up. It'll just be compressed soil, that. Mm. Yeah. Uh, That's a shell. Do you know what thing. size it is, you? Uh, you know your size of bullets, don't you? Is it a 5.5 five or something? Yeah, it looks like the bullet that I have on the plane, that plane when we went to Blackpool. It's like the 7.62, probably is it? Right. No, you, you might be right. I don't yeah. know. Right. <laughs> First target that. Okay. Right, we've got a, it's a really small or deep signal this. There's a bit of iron in there as well. But nothing on the, the depth. I'm getting 29. It's a really iffy signal to deepen this. Yeah. There, there it is. Full depth just come on then, and then no depth. So it's a deep and let's see the simplex go on it. It's like barely catching it sometimes. Yeah, you're getting 70s or something, aren't you? Yeah. Come back a bit. Yeah, 60s, 70s, just getting it. Yeah. Hang on, look, it's good. Full power, full power, right, go on. Oh, there we are. There we go. Yeah, I'd see you in 70s there somewhere. Yeah. Let's give it a dig. We're picking it up. I, I thought the uh, legend would pick it up better, but you went on full sensitivity. Yeah. I mean, mine's not, but if you put it up any higher, yeah. it's unstable. Check this one. Check if it's still in all. Still in all. Oh yeah, that's the real deep. <sighs> Sometimes it, 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 it might not be deep, this is deep one. It's a good one for the testers. Yeah. Oh, it's out. Oh. Right, what have we got? Both picked it up. Now, where is it? Have you got that turned on? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Six, seven, eight inches deep. It's definitely up. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Wow. That button? Yeah, a tiny button at eight inches. Both picked it up. It's really deep. It's only a small button, but yeah, we both got it. In a certain spot, it's like 60s. Yeah, it sounds good, that. We've gone on to park, haven't we? Sounds uh, Yeah, get them 80s sounds and out. 70s, like in right, the. let's have a go with this. Move over, Rover. <laughs> See, that's 32. Yeah. Now I know that with a simplex, I reckon it's an half penny. Yeah. 32, 31, 32, uh, bang on. Yeah. Both getting it. Go on, are you doing a do? Oh my god. Open, uh, open hole surgery. <laughs> right on it. It's there. Yeah. 
careful, we might be something really special. Like a uh, 1985 ring pull. <laughs> okay, I don't have to dig with this pull. Yeah, you're right, you're doing it. Yeah, it's still steeper. Oh, ah, yeah, ah, I can actually see something. Yeah, careful, because it looks like it looks like some. Uh, it looks like lead. I think it's lead. Is that it? Ah, oh, it's lead. Let's give a cracking signal with the uh, legend. That's some kind of fitting. That's actually the the imprint, which fits perfectly there. Like a jigsaw. It's still in there. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, not too sure. It's Ari, maybe Edwardian. All right, so 32, lower 30s, no feral check, so it's deep, and yeah, it's on the full diggable target scale. Seems Plex powers up now. Again. Again. <laughs> Where is it? You'll find it. Search around the area, you'll find it. Go a bit closer to the ground, a bit closer to the ground, bigger sweeps. It's more stable. 50, 60. Yeah, we'll have that then. Right, we'll do a deeper because I reckon it's a deep target. But yeah. it could also be shallow. Oh, well, not shallow, but it could be small. Yeah. But with the sound of it, it sounded quite loud, didn't it? Yeah. It's small! Yeah! <laughs> Getting in with Jouster. Jouster. <laughs> I'll edit that out. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, this is get right here. Is it way deeper? Or is it... Oh! Oh, we're there! We're there! Got it! That? Oh, it's another... Oh. Yeah, it's a lead. It's the... Oh, it's a two-ringer. So you're talking Civil War there. Yeah. Oh, is it? Not too sure on these. I don't know if it's five from Martin Henry. Oh yeah. So the was... late eighteen hundreds. Yeah. It's our in period. But feel the weight of that. Oh wow. <laughs> Got some weight on it. Yeah. So that's a two ringer. Yeah. That's history. <laughs> Let's add this up. Like off an old alarm clock or something like that, or grandfather clock, maybe. It's foldable, so we've back that been a portable clock. Not too sure. <laughs> Quite strong, isn't it? Yeah, and then. The shovel. <laughs> anyway, you found it, aren't you? Yeah. Uh... What was it, 60s? Just like non stop 60s all around. Uh, and, it's go on. and it's literally right here. You can pull it out, be careful though, because it might be brittle. Is it a car? What is that? Oh, you know what that is? What is it? Uh, yeah, you see the rivets at the back? Yeah. They stuck into the leather, so that's of a horse bridle wear. Yeah. But old, you know? Yeah. Say a couple hundred years old, hundred years old, something like that. So I've uh, done the signal there, do you want to extract this uh, carefully? <laughs> extract it where? It's there, it's got to be a kind. Oh, it's crusty. Oh yeah, it's literally right here. Yeah, you'd simple, Simplex would have uh, pulled that up yeah. as well. It is not really oh, it's not much on that easy side, to is see, it? is it? No, oh, it's well crusty. But it's a kind. Yeah, it's our first coin yeah, today. Yeah, first coin. Right, let's carry on. He's doing pretty well at Simplex now. He's a lot quicker on his knowing if it's rubbish or not rubbish. I've got a 29 here. I think it's gone to a good home, you know. The Simplex. Yeah, it's done me well with Simplex and I'd never get rid of it anyway. Uh, so going to, to my son, it's not really going out of my reach, is it? It'll always be closer to all. Uh, I don't know what that is. I thought it was a strap end, but it's just lead again. Now, if you remember on my previous feet, on this permission, 32, 33 that, I found the back of a pocket watch. 
now is this the gubbins because that is a pocket watch the internal side so that must be the dial that's what I, I think so anyway I bet there's all cogs in there see the sides coming off the sides breaking up in the in the hole on it or anything on it it's a mess in it but it could, it could have been the inside to that silver the silver back I found possibly right. listen to that for a signal fully over on the ferro 42 43 sounds beautiful simplex 70 is on like this side like we're seeing the 70s and then on yeah. that side it's like 60 right yeah it's good enough to dig that though it's silver it could be silver joey it could be silver we could have hit treasure <laughs> should we get the pom pointer <laughs> pom pointer pom pointer yeah. that's all i've got to oh, don't be a big piece of rubbish oh you know what oh it's that oh tragedy <laughs> Some kind of catch, big piece of catch. It's come up, yeah. it's a kind ball, and it come up with such a sweet tone. It was 42 on the legend. Oh, come on. 43, 44 now at the hole in the simplex. Right, so what's it gonna be? Oh, it's a threepenny bit, <laughs> <laughs> but it's a kind. Coming up high, that 32s. I've had another similar signal to the threatening bit, and it's been caught with a spade there, so I saw a little bit of silver, but it's later than the last one, is it? That's the same, 58, something like that. Alright, we've had one, two threatening bits, and another one coming up, very similar. 44 pretty shallow it's right over on the non ferrous fingers are all Queen Victoria's Victoria what am I about Queen Elizabeth Hartney so there's not gonna be any silvers here I don't even need this knife do I? Uh, I've got it I'll probably be able to find this here Actually, you take it because I'm still doing it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, video. Yeah. It's way deeper than I Yeah, another one. Again. That's three of them now. I was, uh, it's not bad, that is it? Nine pence altogether. Right, uh, that's enough. Threaten me a bit. Number four. Big parcel coming your way, uh, Mill Ward. <laughs> have, you, have you found it on Simplex then? All right, isn't it? Yeah. It's better than the old thing. Uh, good. That's a look after it. Uh, so most we got both. Yeah. Both of them performed the same really, didn't they? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, what we're gonna say? Then for them four threepenny bits. Let's put an end to the day. <laughs> you can only dig so many of them. But um, we'll be out again, won't we? Yeah. Uh, don't know when. But when he turns up, he turns up. And you got get you got a lot better on that. After the first hole, you're spending loads of time on it, and then yeah. as you kept on going, you're getting tuned in already, aren't you? Yeah. After a couple of hours. So it's gone to a good hole. <laughs> <laughs>
stamps for envelopes. Uh, yeah, it'll, go, it'll get pumped back into the group. I also do giveaways as well, so yeah, it'll all go back into the group, not the group, the channel. Uh, and it'll be very much appreciated. Uh, see you on the next one, guys. Yeah, thanks for coming. Bye-bye now.